But when Steve Sirio was 11 months old, he had surgery to remove a spinal tumor, which resulted in permanent paralysis. Fast forward to today, and Steve is once again representing the United States at the Paralympic Games. Jamie Stewart has more. The last year has been just one of the most uncertain years uh, of my life. And Steve Sirio has lived quite the life. The Carl Place High School grad is one of the best wheelchair basketball players in the world. Now he's shooting for his second Paralympic gold medal. You won gold in Rio in 2016. How ready is this team to do it again? Well, I think the Olympians, both the men and women, set the bar pretty high in Tokyo already. And we're definitely looking to, to repeat and bring home another gold medal in Tokyo. Even though you've been to the Paralympics three times before, this will be unlike any other, right? Absolutely. With a lot of the COVID regulations and safety measures in place, the fact that we won't be able to play in front of our friends and family, this is, well, without a doubt, uh, the most different games that, that I've been a part of but I will say that the spirit of the Olympic and Paralympics is very much alive. With the pandemic pushing the games back a year, some of Steve's teammates decided to withdraw from the games. Steve pushed forward. As a high performance athlete, I am very well equipped to deal with success. I'm also very well equipped to deal with failure. What I am not well equipped to deal with is uncertainty. What COVID has taught us is that you can't waste a second of, of life. And now Steve is ready to go for gold, maybe not in front of any fans, but they'll be on his mind. Anything you want to say to your fellow Long Islanders? You guys all better cheer so loud that we'll be able to hear you in Tokyo. Um, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for this team. Jamie Stewart, News 12, Long Island.